Well, good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> we are heading in to go do some muzzleloader hunting. But before, before we get into the video, I just want to talk about the new Tidewee backpack. This is the new backpack I've been using. It's absolutely awesome. It holds all my stuff. It's a lot smaller than that frame pack. So when I'm only hunting a ladder stand like we're going to do tonight, this is my go-to backpack and it's really nice looking. It's It's got plenty of storage, chest strap, belly strap. If you guys want to go check this out, it'll be in a link down in the description. I'd really appreciate it if you could do that. So we're heading in tonight to go do some muzzle loader hunting. I got my traditions 50 cal muzzle loader. Actually, I don't even have it loaded yet. So I'm gonna put the primer in a while. Then we're locked and loaded. Somebody's having some fun on a car. All right, gun is on safe, hammers forward. We are ready to get in here, try to do some hunting. As you guys can tell, it's real windy today. Uh, I didn't hunt this morning because they were calling for south winds and all the stands here with the south wind, it just, it doesn't work. The wind's out of the west. So, I'm going to try to slip in here to a food plot I haven't had you guys to before. And, uh, I have a camera to check. We're going to check that. It's been out for a while. I haven't seen the food plot in like two weeks. So, hopefully it's growing good. It's got plenty of sun, plenty of water. And, uh, Hopefully it's bringing the deer in. Well, it looks like the deer are in here almost every night. So, hopefully it works out for us tonight. I just got up here. Wind's mostly out of the west every now and again. It wants to go south but I'll take the west wind for all it's worth. I checked the trail camera that's in the food plot here, and it looks like there's deer in it almost every single night, which is great for us. Hopefully they come through tonight and offer a good shot. So really the last time that I hunted this spot, man, those race cars are getting after it. The last time I hunted this spot is when I shot my buck last year. Uh, <laughs> funny enough, he came out just right over here. Right over there. So, if you guys would like, I will have that link down in the description for you guys to check out. Uh, it's an interesting one. We got trespassers, we got doe, we got buck. We got a little bit of everything going on. frosty morning here <clears throat> I think this is about the first frost that I've gotten to hunt all year normally that tends to get stuff rolling pretty good it's just starting to get daylight here cameras were absolutely dead here last night there was absolutely no deer movement on either the cellular cameras here we're done hunting, I'll go check the one in the food plot again. We got a really good wind today, coming out of the north, northwest. But it's going to change to the south again on us. So, I'll hunt until then. And then we got to figure out what, what and where we're hunting tonight. So, got a busy day ahead of us.
there is a very good chance they're going into the other food plot right now and there is a very good chance that uh, they work up this trail that we cut when we put the food plots in to connect them knowing the deer are going to use them they might I'm not saying for sure but they might end up coming right up this trail and giving us like a 10 yard shot well I just had a parade of does going up and down the field and I mean they went both ways I seen some going down and then I seen at least 12 going back up <laughs> that's very unusual very unusual they were spooked too like someone pushed them and that it, <laughs> and it looked like someone pushed them back up or they just really wanted to go back up that way. For tonight, we're gonna try to get the saddle out and go hunt down that way. Just to try to get a better idea what the hell's going on. There's some big oak trees down that way I think I can get up in. Well, I got my backpack all rigged up to go, hopefully, hunt out of the saddle tonight. This little backpack can do it all. I think it's jam packed. Four sticks on the platform. I finally just got in. A little bit more work than what I thought it was going to be. And it's a lot thicker in here than what I thought it was going to be. I really do believe we have a good opportunity. We got trails coming from behind us, funneling out into this power line which leads to the corn and soybeans and whatnot. I block the sun. The wind is doing it whatever the hell it wants, I guess. Every now and again, I feel it coming this way. But mostly it's coming right from the west, which is fine. I haven't hunted this side of the, I haven't hunted this side of the property in years. And I mean a lot of years. So it feels good to be back over here. A lot of the times it seems, you know, deer figure you out pretty quick. They're not dumb. And uh, it seems like a lot of the time when you show up in a spot for the first time, it's normally pretty good. So we'll see what happens tonight. As you can see, there's two guys out there. I really hope they're not willing to shoot a deer. I mean, they're gonna be shooting right towards me. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm sure they, I would assume they see me. I can see them. We're heading in for the last evening hunt of muzzleloader season here. Fortunately, last night we didn't see a damn thing. That was like six hours of being in the saddle. That was a little much for me. So, we're gonna go hunt, I think, uh, probably the best stand for rifle at least. We're gonna go give that a world night. It's about the only one I haven't hunted here yet it's actually where i missed the my doe a couple weeks ago so we'll see what happens i got two cameras i'm going to put up for tonight cellulars just to get an idea of what's going on behind me and stuff so 
Let me get those set up and I'll see you guys in the tree. We just got set up here. We're overlooking one of the other food plots. <clears throat> it's looking a little, a little sad, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's not getting enough sunlight anymore or what. That looks all almost ripped up. I don't know, maybe the deer are in there trying to get the turnips out. If there are any, that is. We got a, <clears throat> we got one of those weird nights when we have like an east wind. And I've heard very good things about easterly winds, so. Normally for bucks, which is irrelevant for us because we can't shoot a buck today, but nonetheless, we can shoot doe. So, we'll see what happens. It's starting to look like we may very well end muscle loader season just the way we started. Seeing Buck. Yet again. I still have half an hour, but it's not looking too good. That's a wrap, boys. Muscle loader season is over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.